Crossing the border hoping for asylum, but along the journey, migrants are also getting sick. Jason Whiteley shows us how a North Texas company is scanning for sick people at the border. Inside a fourth floor lab at an Addison office is technology you cannot yet buy in stores. We don't know your name, we don't know your social security number, but we know your face. This device is called a Wello station and can measure your temperature without touching your body. It looks to a very narrow place on your forehead in your canthus, and the canthus is right there on your body. Here's how it works. Stand in front of it daily. Come closer. And it quickly calculates your temp, connecting it only to your image. The whole point is to identify who's sick and separate them from those who are not. How accurate is this? It is as accurate and as precise as an oral thermometer. Next week, this company is taking the technology to Laredo for Customs and Border Patrol. The surge in asylum seekers naturally has people in it who've gotten sick along the way. There is a great deal of Border Patrol calling in sick. In McAllen, Border Patrol even closed a detention center in May after a flu outbreak killed a 16-year-old. Canada and Japan have this technology in hospitals, and so do the local jails in Collin County and in Denton County. Please hold still. The scan takes about two seconds to complete. And if someone has a fever, though, it will then send an email or text alert to the person in charge of that facility. Walk right up there. During Dallas's Ebola scare in 2014, the Wello station screened hundreds of students at five Dallas ISD schools. So it needs to be, from our point of view, used on an emergency basis at ports of entry. We have presented that to Homeland Security. It is a screening tool, not a diagnostic one. It's designed to keep people healthy by stopping the sick from spreading their illness. In Dallas, I'm Jason Whiteley.